Sabo Sahavan. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, and a lot of my work is site-specific or residency-based. The work is part of an ongoing series of plans. Part of me entered this work with a kind of a naivety, thinking, oh, I really like horticulture, I like plants. I'm going to go to Kew Garden and look at their plant life. I did go to Kew Garden, I met plant researchers and horticulturalists, and I realized that, in fact, horticulture or plant life, it's a remarkably complex, convoluted discourse or area of research that you just can't enter at a whim. I actually learned a lot about plants in an unexpected way in that since I sculpted with wax, I realized as I was making the work, I would understand the anatomy of the plant so well, subsequently to just having such a close range with it. The plants in real life are very, very small, and I've made them much larger to be of a monument scale. That upscaling also was a reference to the body, so the thistle is the size of a human head. So I learned a lot about sculpture and ways of negotiating for the first time ever, a material like bronze. Wanting to understand how bronze behaves both in its obedience and its disobedience. Trying to create controlled accidents and then realizing that plant life kind of really resembles bronze if you allow bronze to deteriorate from its determined path. So these plants are stand-ins to address certain politics. Part of me started to make this work because as I was reading the news, there was this teardown of the Saddam Hussein monument. Bronze was a huge part of his self-mythologizing. I've been really interested in materials that have a historical place in like the beginnings of civilization, ceramics, textile, bronze, copper, which all have roots in the weaponry, shelter, uh, vessels. My objective at least wasn't to make another bronze sculpture that looks like a monument. There's a kind of a relationship to these materials that might be more instinctual or alchemical. The work is meant to show bronze in a transient way, and that was part of the reason of showing them on sheets. I wanted them to look like confiscated goods or weaponry when it's confiscated. Some of them look like knives and some of them look like grenades and landmines. At the same time, the reference is partially to mass burials. As humans, we have a very sensual or physical relationship to bed sheets. So the bronze becomes a kind of an intimate vicinity to the body, both of the viewer, but also they become more bodily looking. The objective is to have people come and look at it in a way that mimics the way they embody their bodies in their daily routine. The way you would look at somebody's grave kneeling down, or you would look at an accident, or the way you would encounter a garden potentially even. I didn't want them on pedestals or on the wall. There's a kind of a bodily memory walking around these objects. A lot of my work is called studies because I think it kind of undermines the idea of expertise in that nothing is finished and nothing is complete and everything has a potential to be something better or something different. I think there's something kind of fruitful in that moment of being more open-ended in every respect in my practice. Thank you.